Okay, hello, and I just got a request to look at why this design is not working in Orchid. So I'm going to open up 17.4. Yeah, I think it's a 17.4 project. This course is not designed for 17.4, but it's very similar to 17.2. So let's take a look at what's going on with this project. So let's go to open project. Then go to the desktop and LED. All right, the project is open with LED PCB and here we have this thing. Okay, LED schematic. Okay. What's the problem with the circuit again? Let me see. Right. Okay. So for 17.4, creating the netlist is a different. In 17.2, normally you could go to tools and then create netlist or something. Okay. So if you go to your design file and then go to tools, then you can choose to create netlist. And a netlist is independent of a printed circuit board. So a printed circuit board design program, a PCB editor program, imports a netlist. It imports logical information about your schematic design and then figures the rest of the stuff out for the mechanical parts. When it comes to 17.2, all of the netlist, like all of this window had the ability to generate a netlist in your Allegro folder and send it to a printed circuit board. In 17.4, they've separated those things. You can create your netlist independently of another CAD software program, another PCB editor CAD software program, import this netlist. The netlist consists of three files that go into this directory. So let's see. If you want to view the output, you can do that. So let's click netlist. Sure. I might run into errors because I don't have any footprints. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I got my netlist files, and those are three files. We have the PSTX PRT, PSTX Net, and PST Chip. This is the information that PCB Editor reads in to make a PCB. Now, we don't have any PCBs created. In 17.2, you have the option to send this directly to a PCB. In 17.4, you do not from the tools menu anyway. So, what they did is they went to, they added a new menu item called PCB, and then you can create a new layout. In the new layout, you have the PCB layout folder, Allegro, same folder. Uh, I recommend just keeping it there. And then you have the input board file here as this option. If you already have a printed circuit board that is in your Allegro folder that you want to modify, then you can do that. You can select your input board and then modify it into a new board called under board and it's called LED or whatever. And if you include an input board file, it's called an engineering change order. Actually, you're changing a board into a new board with some into the same board with some changes. But if you don't have an input board file, it's just a new board entirely. So let's go ahead and click OK and see what happens. I've gotten reports that the PCB editor hangs up or stops working around this time. However, mine looks like it's opening just fine. Let's let's take a look. Okay, so I don't see anything. That's because this window is below here. All right, let's maximize this. Minimize, uh, move that out of the way. So the question is, where is the board? Uh, what this does is just creates a database with the part information and the logical and mechanical information for your parts. You actually need to go to place components manually, select your components, and then you can place them on the PCB, right? Like this. And there you go. You right click, choose done. And then you can create your board outline, you know, your, your design outline. You can draw your rectangle. And it's a massive outline. It's too, the clearance is too large. You can go as small as 10 mils for some manufacturers, but let's go to 20, make it double, click OK. Right, and there's your board. Then you can do like a 3D view by clicking on that icon. It's also in display 3D. 
and then here's what your footprints look like right not the most uh, appealing or attractive with the step models but hey and then you can make the part disappear and appear and whatnot and then the pad stacks show up for the various footprints yeah all right so that's how you create your board you can click save click yes for the overwrite and then that's how you do it if you do run into any issues feel free to email me at kirsch at and uh, i'll do my best to get back to you uh but <laughs> yeah hope that helps